Let's go to Hollywood. Director Oliver Stone slamming what he calls Hollywood fragility. Speaking in a recent interview, he says, and I'm quoting now, everything has become too fragile, too sensitive. Hollywood now, you can't make a film without a COVID advisor. You can't make a film without a sensitivity counselor. It is ridiculous, says Oliver Stone. And look who's here. Isaiah Washington, former Grey's Anatomy star and new Fox Nation host who's having a grand old time on this show right now. Isaiah, let me start with Oliver Stone. Uh, do you think Hollywood has become even more politically correct in recent months than it was in the past? You know, Hollywood is kind of one of those uh, those stubborn mules. When I was I was a kid in high school. We used to have a mule saddling contest, and you have to pull the mule out of the stall. You didn't want to be pulled out. Start crying blood out of his eyes. That's how I see Hollywood right now. It's this stubborn mule that's crying bloody tears, and uh, I don't I don't understand. It makes no sense to me what Hollywood is doing. I really don't care what Hollywood is doing. I'm glad Oliver Stone is out there still trying to make movies in the system. But uh, I've already got partners that we're moving away from the system and be at the forefront to start a whole new system that's going to be anti-Hollywood. So I, I don't know what to say to him. Oh, uh, I, I'd love to hear it. Really that's, just, that's music yeah. to my ears, sir. <laughs> Absolute music to my ears. But I, I've, I've, already, I've, already, I've already started it with Kitchen Talk. So that gives you the yeah. indication that, you know, the people, the American people in the world are tired of the lies you know, I was just saying to a friend of mine uh, this morning about he was so excited about uh, people texting him and letting him know that my show is on Fox Nation. And uh, he's a Marine. And I just told him, well, I texted him, I said, you know, I've never I've never seen a war won or a starving enemy won over or a culture of people survive without good food. You know, <laughs> I'd rather cooking. I'd rather cook and eat with you <laughs> than kill you. <laughs> you know, so like I don't understand what Hollywood is doing, but I, I think I have a nice little answer and alternative to yeah. say that, look, if you want to sit down and talk about it, but the, you know, on my show over a good meal and some wine, then let's do it. The you show. Know, I think that's much easier, it's much I, I, easier than killing each other. I, look, I've not seen the show because I know it's only just debuted, but you entertain interesting people. You sit with them, you cook with them, yeah. and you talk with them. Yeah. It's it's a yeah. food cooking interview show. Have I got that right, Isaiah? Uh, that's the structure. Yes, uh, the structure now, uh, as a habit, we discovered that it's it's good to have like three recognizable faces, which we have uh, in various communities that are politically, you know, ideologies don't really come up in the show as they shouldn't, because I'm actually having human to human conversation, human to human uh, uh, interaction.